Oh, look, it's got a chainsaw engine in it. I am in Germany at the largest machinery trade show in Europe. It is massive machinery galore, demonstrations, demo areas where you can try it out. It is just unbelievable. The amount of machines that is here that we don't get to see in the UK. All the European brands, trailers, diggers, loaders, mowers, are oh, you name it, it is here. So I've come over to Demo Park with AS Motor and Arians to support them on their stand and to do lots of demos of their machinery, which that main video will be coming this Friday. This is just a sneaky peek of everything else that is going on in the show. Let's have a quick look around their stand just so you can see what's going on. So this is their stand, you've got zero turns out the front there. And then AS Motor over there. So a couple of years ago, Arians bought AS Motor. So it's all now under one umbrella. They got a big demo area over here where you can try out all the AS products. And they got a ring down here with all the zero turns, which is rather impressive. I had a go on the E earlier on, so you'll see that in the main video on the other day. And the track remote control machine, the Ovis, which we've done a video with. A big demo area, lots of machines, nice few um, sun lounges, which is nice and their tent where they got loads and loads of beer. So yeah, I'm surprised I'm not drunk. I'm having such a great time. There's loads going on and yeah. So here's a little snippet of all the things I've been up to. Check it out. Ah, oh, no, it's locked. But that's a nice little Schaefer telehandler or articulated steel loader, as you might call it. Not a brand we're familiar with in the UK, but it's a nice compact size. I like that. Not a patch on my manor too though. Cool, like it. I found some Takuchi diggers. Got a real soft spot for Takuchi. Ah, oh. mate. I've driven several Takuchi diggers over me time and I have a soft spot for the old TB016. This is lush, look at this. There's a lot more buttons in them now than there used to be. But yeah, quite happy to sit here all day. I like you've even got aircon now as well. But yeah, it's a nice size cab digger that. Any smaller with a cab digger, I find you a little bit enclosed, but this is nice. Oh, radio, proper Takuchi branded radio with Bluetooth. Oh, nice. They got a demo area. Ah, yes they have. That's cool with a rotating bucket on it. Clamshell rotating bucket. That makes life easier when you're trying to sort of cut out around pipes and things. That was neat. Two teeth on one side of the bucket and one on the other. Able to pick up whatever you want. Use it as a grading bar with your log as well. Or try and split your log with it. Either way. Quick release. On that, he'll have to jump out and do his pipes. Out he jumps. Nice and quick and easy. So you've got two pipes for your rotator and then two pipes for your actual bucket. You can't beat those industrial fittings for speed. Absolutely brilliant. It's mad the different brands of trailers that are here, all the European made ones. Whereas in the UK, we only really ever see the UK or Northern Irish made trailers. So it's great to see what else is on the market. And to be fair, there isn't that many European brands that seem to come across, but some of the trailers are really impressive. And I think some of the UK manufacturers could adopt some of their ideas, which is quite cool. Love them. Now Steyr, another brand you don't really see in the UK. So I'm dying to get in one to see what they're like. Wow. Ah, oh, nice. Ah, oh, wicked. That is nice. I think Max would be jealous when he's sitting in this one because look at the passenger seat. That has a proper passenger seat on there. That is wicked. Vario gearbox in it. Well, I presume that's Vario. It looks very similar to the Fent that Max showed me when we went to Llama at the beginning of the year. But this is nice. A little bit bigger than my Sammy, 
I've got. Say a little bit bigger, 260 horsepower. Yeah, a little bit bigger. I like nearly 200. I don't think there is even a distributor for Steyr in the UK. I think you've got to import them if you want. Getting busy now. Right guys, in the comments, pop in there if you know what this brush is for. It's not that obvious. I've asked a few people they didn't know. So pop it in the comments if you know what this machine is here. As I'm in Germany, I better visit the Stiel stand and say it properly as well. Let's go in and have a look. Yes, I found my new chainsaw. Brilliant. Perfect size for me. I reckon I'll be able to handle it. Sliders, anybody? I don't think they're going to sell many hoodies in this weather, but I like it. I want one. Still UK? Can I have a hoodie, please? So some of the bigger power washers that we don't get to see in the UK are the RE232, the RE170, and the RE462, which I believe, is that a steam cleaner or is that just a big pressure washer? I think it's just a big pressure washer, but still UK, please can we have the bigger pressure washers? There's definitely a market for it. That's cool. That's a Volkswagen T6 done out with all the steel battery gear on the sliding shelves with box smart van. Look at that. Slide it in out of the way. I used to have some box smart van stuff. It is well made and they don't actually manufacture it that far away from me in Devon. That's cool. But the Volkswagen T6 will be the last proper Volkswagen van because the T7s when they come out will actually be a Ford Transit badge as a Volkswagen. I know. Who ever thought we'd see that? Perhaps they chose the right van. Powered by still? No. Powered by still? Now there's a jump in the right direction. Oh, look, it's got a chainsaw engine in it. I'm joking, it's battery powered. <laughs> but that could be a little diesel heater down there, I reckon. That looks like a diesel heater. But yeah, electric powered truck. How cool is that? Powered by still. I want to know more. Forty-eight volt, fifty kilometer range. Put my glasses on. Yeah, fifty kilometer range. Ten kilowatt. I, I was expecting it to be powered by like steel batteries, like the AP battery range, but. I need to know more. I'm very intrigued. I want one. I've always wanted a little electric truck. There's no getting away from it. The steel stand is massive. <laughs> They've even got their own food stand, look. What are they cooking? They've got a steel barbecue. Cool. I want one now. It's making me hungry. Obviously up here setting up for the timber sports, the steel timber sports. If they had the British Championship the other day, you see the rounds of pot pillar that they've got. Because for the competition wood, they use pot pillar wood to make sure it's true because the pot pillar wood is the least grainy wood that there is to be able to use for it for the sawing competition. I was very fortunate enough to go to the steel timber sports in Liverpool when they had it a few years ago. 231 291 Ah. The 241, probably one of the most underrated steel chainsaws out there. I think it's a great little professional saw. Beautiful little saw, that. The power to weight is incredible. The 241 and the MS400C are definitely the two most underrated saws. Perhaps we should do a video just for the 241 and the MS400 in a video just to prove how good they are. Nice little saw, that. And we've got the big boys, 661 and the 881. Plenty of videos on our channel of the 881, loads of them, so check them out.
So that is the end of the little teaser that I've done for what I've been up to at Demo Park. I hope you've enjoyed it. But like I said, the main video is coming on Friday. So stay tuned for that. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button and ding the notification bell. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.